Hello, and I'm Tina, and welcome to Lakeshore Academy. Today, I will be talking to you about what can you put in your math fun schooling baskets. Now, it's a array of stuff that you can put in your fun schooling basket, but I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I have in my fun schooling baskets. Basket, and I'm also going to uh, show you some of the journals that we are personally using from the Thinking Tree to accompany this basket. And also, um, it builds upon the books or whatever that we're already using along with the Thinking Tree for math. Uh, because we do have some other things that we use for math as well. We use Life of Fred and we also use Learn Math Fast. And my son goes back and forth with um, teaching textbooks as well. So, we, um, we, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we actually use in our Thinking Tree baskets um, and also the books. Now, keep in mind that this basket is for two children. So, I do have quite a bit of stuff in this basket, but keep in mind it's for two children with two different needs. But I keep it in one basket for space reasons because I, I would have too many baskets if I give each individual subject and each individual child a box or a basket to themselves. So that's why I have them both in the same basket. But anyway, like I said, I also supplement the Thinking Tree Math with also a math curriculum as well. So that explains why I have more stuff in here too as well. But these are some of the Thinking Tree books that we are using for our math using Math Genius, Math Mysteries, and Minecraft. These two are for my son, and this is for my daughter. And my daughter and my son also have this, but they already completed it. But we're going to brush over and do some more in here. Because we do have some more left over just to give them a refresher over the summer so that they won't forget. I hope not. So far they're still holding on to it since we've been doing this. It's been working very well. So, again, these are our math journals that we have. And then I'm going to show you the things that we have in our basket we have twist and shout multiplication tables game we also have and I have to have many manipulatives because my children are very hands on especially with math being that it's not their strongest subject so we use a lot of um, manipulatives real life math concepts where they can touch and feel and see the things so, so that they can better understand. So we have these. Map link cubes. For those of you who don't know what this is, I use this when we're counting and different stuff of that nature. I use it with timetables. I use it with word problems. All kind of stuff. And we also have plastic pattern blocks. You can kind of see where they are. We have this to go with the pattern blocks to introduce the kids to just basic geometry. I'm going to show you some of the cards. How they do. Uh oh. We also have marbles. We have flashcards. Word problem flashcards for fourth to sixth grade. Numbers. Dice. We have more than one a whole set. Some more flashcards. Kids playing cards, dice for fractions. Of 
course, we have to have a calculator. We have some flashcards. Have a graph notebook, composition notebook with graphing paper. And we, of course, have fractions manipulative. We have place value flip book. And you can use it on both sides. Like right here, it's ones, tens, hundred, thousand, tens, and thousand. Then over here, it has with the decimal. See at the end, it has tenths, hundreds, thousands with the th at the end. Shows where you use the decimal. Also have money, and I constantly go through that. So we constantly rebuying money because you lose the pieces and stuff of that nature. And we also have this where they can trade, um, trace the trapezoid, the rhombus, the square, the parallelogram, and um, I also have a protractor. Yeah, here it is. We also have a receipt book for sales. We use this when we're doing real life math, like we do a restaurant or our, we pretend they have a restaurant or a store or and they have to write out a um, bill and then they give it, give it to us, like to fill it out and stuff like that to that nature with math. And we also use these books. DK Math Genius. It's very colorful, so you probably like this. And it also goes very, very well with. Let me show it to you. It goes very well with. Da, 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 da. This book. And we also have money to go along with the money this right here is from national geographic kids give you a little sneak peek on the inside and of course we have different little extra workbook work, work, worksheets and stuff of that nature we also have timetables lift and flip book from us born this is my son's book he learned he really likes this flip, lift and flip series of books. And he has one with fractions and decimals. So, this is basically what we have in our basket for two children. Um, two different grade levels, of course. My daughter is in the seventh grade currently. My son is in the fifth. So, um, but some of the same stuff that they have problems with, um, like, um, fractions and stuff like that, um, not basic, but then when they start to reduce the improper fractions and stuff to that nature. But like I said, I use these thinking tree books and that's how I built my basket accordingly based on these books along with, we use Life of Fred for my son with a uh, teaching textbook and for my daughter she used learn math fast and she has the math tutor dvds um i don't even have the math tutor dvd where i can show you but she uses that as well so i hope this helped you in a way to be able to figure out what you or gave you, give you some ideas on what you can put in your um math basket for thinking tree um of course you don't have to have all the stuff that i have but just to give you some ideas of some things that you can use in um with along with um Sarah Brown's math books or alongside her books with your math curriculum 
um, these are just some ideas. I hope this gives you some ideas on what you can use and stuff of that nature. So, again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. And um, in the future, I plan to do some more videos about um, the, how to build some more homeschooling, fun schooling baskets um, with around Sarah Brown's fun schooling books. Now, if you have any particular questions or you have a book from Sarah Brown um, that you purchased and you have no idea on how you're going to build a basket with it or you need some ideas to figure out what things that you can use with that particular book or journal, feel free to write me a message um, on the bottom of this video or um, um, private message, message me if we're if you're on the Facebook Fun School and Basket group. I'll try my very best to give you some ideas on what you can use based on what your child needs are. Because every child is different. Every child needs to use certain things. So I'll try to give you some ideas based on whatever you tell me your, your child's learning style is. So, because I'm here to help whoever needs the help. So, again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. Thank you so much. I hope this gave you some ideas on what you can do for your fun school ambassador. Because remember, we're learning and it's fun with the thinking tree. We don't have to be tied down to just one little thing. We have creativity. We, ha we can be fun and learn at the same time. So, we don't want it to be stressful. We want it to be fun and for your children to blossom and learn more. So, that's the whole motto of thinking tree learning and having fun at the same time so again have a nice day